and welcome to The Man Games today. We are looking at the new attire of Rhea Ripley after she joined Judgment Day at WrestleMania Backlash. So as you can see on the screen now is this attire on this side that we're doing. So we've got the hooded attire when she got into the ring and then after she took the hood off. And if you look over here, this is the WrestleMania attire that we did, which is already on the channel. So if you like the look at that, make sure to check that out on the channel as well. I'll put a link in the description. Um, so if you do want to now to recreate this one there, you can find that there. But we are doing this one here today. So we're going to click on in ring. And then we're going to go to edit. And then we're going to go to hair dye. So, right, if we just reset this. So click on reset. That is what it's already like on the game. So we're going to go to die. And then we're going to zoom out by pressing L2. Hold the cursor down to make the circle bigger. Go over towards the hair. And now square for colors. So we have black. So now we'll click on black. And then press X to dye her hair. So I'm trying to do it. I'll just zoom in now so I can show you. I don't want to go any lower than the line there, as you can see. So we are dying black. I'll just zoom out a bit more so it looks a bit better. But we aren't going under that line. Obviously, on the sides as well, you can't really. It's not really making a big difference anywhere. Maybe on the lower part, but the top part it wasn't. So yeah, as you can see there, we're not going any lower than that line. So now we can zoom out and we'll cover more of the area quicker. That is why we do this. So there we go. There is Rhea Ripley with black hair. Now going down to clothing. So we want to go to upper body. So brazier. So this is the brazier, this one here. So now click on that. So materials for the brazier, we want rubber. Default. And carbon fiber. And then for the colors, we have black, black, and white there. So now we are going to go into some images. So we've got this rectangular image here first. And that is coming up that part there, as you can see. As you can see, that is, um, you can see your bumps and stuff that are normally on this attire. So we're just getting rid of that. So the material for this wants to be rubber. And then the color obviously wants to be black. So then it looks like that. And now this line image here. Let's run up that part there. Material for this again is rubber. And then the color wants to be black again. And now this rectangular image here is for that part there, as you can see. The same again, the material wants to be rubber and the color wants to be black. And now this line image here, that is covering up that part there underneath the armpit there. As you can see, it is white there now, but we are going to change that. Obviously, again, we are going to change it to rubber for the material. And obviously, the color wants to be black again, as we are going to change right now, like that. Next line image here. And that is for the back part there. So same again, rubber. And the color 
is black again. And now this line image here is coming up that part there. So the same as we did before, just under the armpit there, going down. And the material is rubber again. And then the color is obviously black again. The next line image here. So that is covering up that part there, as you can see, it's now white. We have put that image there. And again, we are gonna change it to rubber for the material. And black for the color. The last image here, and it is exactly the same on the other side, as you can see there. And we have the material is rubber again. And the color is obviously black again. And that is it for the Brazier. And now we are gonna move down to the lower left arm, which is that one there. And the material for this is rubber again. And obviously the color is black again and then you can just copy that straight over to the right arm so then they're both exactly the same and then we've gone down to neck accessories and it is this one here one there material for this we have rubber and we have carbon fiber and then for the colors we have black obviously and then we have that shade of like a silver there, like that. So now that is it for the upper body. Now if we go to head, this is already on the Rhea Ripley. I just thought I'd tell you this now. So on her ears, you can't put an image over it to get the like little hole that she had, which is a bit um, disappointing in the black part. We could have put like a circle image over that to make it, you know, look like see-through, but you can't do that on the game, which is a bit annoying. So that is why we haven't done that in case anyone was wondering. Now to lower body. So it's these Rhea Ripley bottoms here. Material one, we have cloth. Two is default. Three is carbon fiber. And four is default. And now going into the colors, so we have black, black, silver for the third one. And black for the fourth one. Now we're going to images, so we have this Rhea Ripley image that is already on the game. So it's there, so we have put it there, as you can see the brute. I think it's meant to say so we put that on the top of like the fire there but as you can see the Rhea Ripley face is missing and I'll show you why in a second so the material is just default and the color wants to be um, white for this like a bit whiter than it normally is on the original image and then we put this oval image there covering up Rhea Ripley's face so we just get the right in and we don't get her face on it we zoom in there like that so the material for this wants to be just default and the color obviously wants to be black and we're going to go down to shoes and boots so those are the boots there that we have chosen then ones there and the material for the boots are rubber default and it's just the same shade of black that they already have on on the game so we don't need to go into color so that is it for the in-ring attire for this Rhea Ripley and now if we go across to the entrance so this is just with the hoodie on 
So what we're going to do here is we are going to go to clothing, head, because cl hooded clothing is on head. And we have that one there. Material, we have chosen matte. And obviously the color wants to be black. Unfortunately, you have to put two images down the middle because the zips are white. You can't change that for some reason, which seems very strange. So as you can see there, we just put that image all the way down. And we have changed that material is matte as well. And the color wants to be black. Then we have the same again, but for just the top, you can't fully do a full line over it. So we've got this little line here and that is exactly the same again. The material wants to be matte and the color wants to be black again. And then that is it. That is how to create this Aria Ripley from WrestleMania Backlash. Well, I do hope you did enjoy this how to create video today and I hope it was helpful if it was please click that thumbs up button then I'll know that we've done a good job here today on the channel if you are a new watch to the man games and you haven't already please think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already if you already have make sure to have the notifications turned on then you'll know when our next video goes up on the channel you can also find us on Facebook Twitter and Instagram at the man games we're also on Pinterest TikTok and Reddit as well so thank you very much for watching the man games today and we will see you on the next video.